right, hello, my name is Tiffany Davis. I'm going to show you how to install this car seat. It's the Evenflow Light Max. Um, and I'm going to install it in the rear facing position because it only goes rear facing. This is an infant car seat with a handle on it. So we put our smallest babies in this car seat. I'm going to show you how to install it facing the back. It cannot face the front. Um, it should always be facing the back. Now, I am not going to install it with a base. Oftentimes these come with a base, something that you leave in your car, and then you can snap this in and out. But you don't always have a base um, available when you might need it or when you need to install this car seat. So you can install it without the base. That's what we'll demonstrate today. Um, the first thing I want to cover is this handle. When you are in the vehicle, this handle has to be in the upright position where it is now, or you can squeeze this gray button, which is on both sides, and you can put it back here and so it has to be in one of those two positions that is actually in the instruction manual so we always have to follow instructions and we put it in either the upright position or the position where it's back it might be able to lock in four or five positions but it must be in this position or in the back position while in the car and the next thing i want to show you is the level so this red arrow right here is called our level line this line, we want to be parallel to the ground when we install our car seat. So I don't want to install the car seat like this because that line is not parallel to the ground. I would want to make sure my car seat is installed like this, where the line is parallel to the ground. Now, this car seat manufacturer does say that you can take a rolled towel if needed. This might not always be necessary, but you can take a rolled towel from your house and roll it up nice and tight and you put it right here if you need help to make sure that that line is parallel to the ground. Some people will need to do that and some people will not, but it is allowed, okay? So we will use the towel in our installation today and I'm going to open my car and we'll get this installed. All right, so I'm gonna set my car seat right here. I have my handle in one of the approved positions and I'm going to make sure that my line is parallel to the ground. It looks really good and I'm on flat ground. That's important too. You have to be on flat ground. You can't be on a driveway. All right, my seat belt is going to go through these clips. There's clips on the top of the car seat on either side. So we've got one clip and two clips, okay? It goes through there. We're going to buckle it in. And this is very unique. But this car seat manufacturer says that this comes behind the back of the car seat. You gotta watch out for that canopy. Okay. And it's gonna go around the back like this. We have to make sure that it's as far up as possible, right under this ledge that kind of sticks out. We don't want it down here. We want it up here as far as possible. All right, now when I did that, my seat belt came out of my car as far as it could. So I'm hearing a clicking sound as it's going back in. That actually means that I locked my seat belt. And the other way I know that I locked it is if I try to pull it out, it's not coming out. I'm not pulling hard, I'm just pulling a little bit. It's not coming out. So my seat belt is locked and that's how we want it. So all I have to do now is tighten. It's actually pretty easy. I will show you what to do if you did not lock your seat belt. Um, but I happened to just lock it when I wrapped it around my car seat. So you want to kind of hug this, hug it into your vehicle. You can hug in and down, but you don't want to press here because we don't want to tilt our level. And you can't press in the center because our baby's probably already in there. So we're going to hug around and down. You can kind of press here too. And I'm going to tighten, 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 tighten my seat belt. Now every time I hear a click, or a ratcheting sound, that means I'm getting it tighter because that's the sound that it makes as the seat belt, a locked seat belt gets tighter. All right. Okay. When you think you've got it tight enough, you always want to double check that level. Make sure that that red arrow was parallel to the ground, which you can't see right now. we got to raise this. Sometimes it's a work in progress. All right, it is as far up as it can be. Okay, my level is parallel to the ground. 
and now I'm going to test my tightness. I put my hands on either side. I've got one hand over here, one hand here. I put them on either side of my belt path, and with a moderate tug, not a heavy tug, with a moderate tug, it should not move more than an inch side to side, front and back. I do not test it like this. This is what a lot of people do, but we always test our, we want to be always testing our tightness at our belt path, and this is the belt path, okay? So it is not moving more than an inch side to side, front and back at the belt path. My seatbelt is locked. It's routed around my car seat correctly. My handle is in a approved position, so this is the correct way to do it. Now I'm also gonna show you how to lock your seatbelt if it didn't lock on you automatically. So. All right. Okay, so after you route everything, okay, if your seatbelt did not lock automatically on you, which it did to me because I pulled everything out to get it around my car seat, you do it in this in a very similar way. After you route everything, you're gonna pull the rest of it all the way out to the end, as far as it can go. And then by not, I kind of yanked it at the end. You don't wanna yank or pull fast. Just pull it all the way out to the end very slow and let it go back in. You'll hear a clicking sound or a ratcheting sound and that means that you did it correctly. As you go in, it will only tighten, it will not come back out. That is the way to lock your seatbelt. So the reason mine locked is because I had wrapped it around my car seat and it came all the way out. But if yours doesn't do that, you'll do it in the way that I just showed. And that is how you would install this car seat correctly.